The next section we're going to uh, import data for is the downstream 30 foot offset, offset section. We're going to switch over to our DGN file that has our center line and two offset profiles. Here's the downstream. What we're going to do is we're going to select this downstream offset um, and uh, we're going to open up its profile model. Now before we do that though, these offsets were created uh, when we imported the upstream uh, 30 foot offset uh, section. So if you want to see how these were created, go see that video on how this data was brought in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and open um, uh, the profile view of this um, alignment. We're going to select on the second icon, open profile model. We're going to use view number eight, and I'm going to click in there to update the profile. And the reason we're getting an existing ground profile is because we have an, uh, an active terrain model uh, over here. Anytime you have an active terrain model and you click on an element, uh, you'll get its uh, existing ground profile or the profile of whatever the surface is. And so all we're going to do is we're going to click on this element and we're going to create, uh, create a report. We're going to go uh, to this uh, report here, fourth up from the bottom. Uh, it's got the format that we're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and convert that to Microsoft Excel because it's just easier to copy from. Again, we want uh, the um, format to be northing, easting, and then elevation. So I'm going to move this column over. We're going to grab the data. This data has some spaces in it, but it's not a, uh, uh, the spreadsheet, the GeoHex spreadsheet will remove those spaces. And if there's any duplicates in this, uh, the GeoHex spreadsheet will also remove the duplicates. So I'm going to get in row one of this section at the northing section. Uh, we don't have point names, it's uh, not required, so we're going to go ahead and paste this information in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and visualize the downstream off offset profile. When I do that, it'll remove any duplicates and any, any rows, up to five rows in a row that have no data, it'll remove those out. And so I'm going to go ahead and visualize the uh, downstream offset profile, and that looks good. If you needed any help with uh, this import, you can go to the little help comments uh, listed here. You can see what it's, um, what it's uh, states here. The first point listed here should be the end point of the downstream 30 foot offset section, and it should be from the left side of the stream bed as you're looking downstream. And so what that means is if I go back uh, to the data, the alignment as you're looking downstream should go as far as stationing goes from the left all the way to the right as you're looking downstream. And so our data has been put in that way. Uh, if it wasn't, what you could do is go back to the GeoHex spreadsheet and then invert the downstream 30-foot offset contents. And it's, that, that's what it would basically do is just reverse the order of the data that's listed down here below. Next, we need to get the station value. Again, you can use these little help comments. This is, the, uh, this is the stream bed station at the location of the downstream 30 foot offset. So we're going to go back to our microstation file. We're going to go ahead and uh, click on uh, our civil AccuDraw. And with the civil AccuDraw on and in the plan view, we're going to click it on and we're going to go to the station offset option. You need to make sure you're not in the profile view because if you're in the profile view, you get different options for civil AccuDraw. So again, we're going to go back to plan, civil AccuDraw, and then we're going to go station offset. Then we're going to go to uh, the horizontal tools. I'm just going to pick the line tool. And when I do that, you can see that the station offset is on my cursor. But we need to associate the civil AccuDraw station and offset to the survey of this, of the survey center line of the stream bed. So I'm going to hit the O button. And I'm going to select that stream bed. And when you do that, you can see that the stationing and offset is coming off that stream bed now. Now to get the station of that 30-foot offset downstream, I'm going to hover in close to it. I'm not going to snap. I'm just going to let the auto snap uh, work. And when you do that, you get the station value of 34 plus 14.54. And you can tell I'm right on that stream bed because I have a 30-foot, uh, I have a zero offset. And so I'm going to go back over to my spreadsheet, my GeoHex spreadsheet, and I'm going to type in 34 plus 14.54. And that's all there is to uh, 
entering the data into the downstream 30-foot offset section.